last year. He spent six years in San Francisco. He throws a strike to Witt right after and spent six years with the Giants. No balls, two strikes. He's crafty. He, he changes speeds. He changes his delivery. He alters. You really got to focus on him. Look out over the middle of the plate. Be selective and be patient. And he's hit over his last six, hit safely over his last six. And <laughs> you have a lot to keep track. I mean, this, this guy, he's a pioneer in that department. Uh, Louis Tiant started it, and I'm sure there was some way before him, too. And he got with to chase a slider way outside. Theory Garcia. He can play everywhere. He's played every position but catcher. He's pitched. He's played everywhere. And for 10. 0-1 on Benintendi. 0-2 on Benintendi. Johnny. Benintendi was not in the starting line. He's two-run single. Love his approach. He's going to the opposite field here. He's thinking away. That's how you're going to have to deal with Cueto. You can't get out deep. See it? Go to the other way. Ooh, late movement in 92. And so is somebody who is influenced by Johnny Cueto coming up through the Reds organization and some of the things that he's been doing recently on the mound. Change the timing of his motion. That's inspired by Johnny Cueto. We got about it. He's difficult. One and two. Santana wonders. Struck him out. His first outing with the White Sox, he wants to impress. Still two and two. I mean, that move right there looked like different body language, different type of timing mechanisms, and strikes out the side. Complete game to beat Atlanta in a one nothing game in game seven of is a rarity in a world series who man you're talking greatness Carlos Santana is out four three he had his ups and downs so that was number one to answer the call at home outside on Hunter Dozier he pitched the elimination game in the division series after that crazy game four in Houston he stepped up Houston he stepped up and got the win here when Kendry's Morales hit that big home run and then the one we just showed you. And when Cueto pitched, no matter what happened in New York, they would at least be coming back to Kansas City. Dozier hits it to center field. But Luis Robert will make the play going on to the warning track. Magical. Bobby Witt Jr. takes a strike. One ball, one strike. Yeah. He... Ooh, man, good rip there. Slider. He's got a pitches and 19 strikes. Two and two. He's in the middle of the field with it. Doesn't try to pull. He doesn't roll over. Goes to the opposite field. That's pulled foul. Still two balls, two strikes. You know, racking my small brain, wondering, you know, who is this? Who's he remind you of? Ooh, man, Guido, he's hot right now. I'll tell you next time he comes up. And win for KC, where she learned the value that sports play to our curves as the secretary of the Mid America LGBTQ Chamber of Commerce Board of Directors. The Heroes for Hospice 5K Charity Run Board, and she is president of the Longfellow. Man. Who had a heck of a road trip? We'll chop it up the middle, and Anderson throws in time, and Johnny Cueto has retired the first eight. Guy to pull. Maybe they see him. 
See what he's thrown and make some adjustments. 0 oh, and 2. And he's been a strike machine. He's thrown 35 pitches. Impressive. And the Royals just have to get him pitching out of the stretch. He doesn't have as many options and fewer variations of his delivery when he's pitching out of the stretch. I agree. Late movement. Boy, that had Isbell jumping back, and it hits the inside edge. And Cueto has struck out five in the first three innings. So we can see it, Greg. Game face. I like it. And the Royals' 10th batter tonight reaches. Johnny Cueto had set down the first nine with five strikeouts. And attendee swings to the first pitch. This is going to be a long run for Vaughn. And he'll get there. He was playing Benintendi toward left center field, but that hung. Salvi struck out swinging his first time up. And he'll take a strike from Cueto. If you're an outfielder in this ballpark, it'll either expose your weaknesses or it's a chance for you to. Outside to Salvi, one ball, one strike. Okay, the the teal. Salvi pulls it to third on one hop. Moncada to second one, and Garcia to first for two. So the Royal. 42 pitches, 32 strikes, and 0 and 1 on Carlos Santi, two-year-old with the Reds. Abreu will take it himself. And Carlos fixed in a little pop, little power. Didn't mean to do it. I mean, Johnny Cueto at 36 is really good. Just doesn't have that extra weapon. Grounded sharply to third. And Moncada throws in time. Outside, ball one. Two and oh. Three balls, no strikes. Or two outs in the fifth inning. And that is ball four, and that's his first walk. Way outside, ball one on Michael A. Taylor, who is flied out to right field. This year he's been thrown out twice. Taylor was taking all the way. One and one. He's 1.31 one home, which is a quick. A little longer. One and two on Taylor. A little bit outside. Two balls, two strikes. So st still pitches very effectively inside. And that's way outside, three and two with Rivera on deck. Junior runs, and Taylor is down on strikes on an elevated fastball. So he's thrown. He'll bat second. And Emmanuel Rivera takes a breaking ball for strike one, a single and a walk, and that's it. He has struck out six. Rivera fouls it away, 0 and 2. $5,000 from Sonic and the Royals. Grounded to first, and it gets through Abreu, but Cueto is over there to cover. So that goes one. Isbell takes up and away. He took a call third. You can use the rosin back. You can't be on the slab when you do that. Line to right. That'll get by Engel. And the Royals will have their first runner at second base. So Isbell has he tagged it. Cueto set down the first nine. And now it's no balls and two strikes. And they're going to start moving around in the Ingle, good arm in right field. That was 93. Still one and two. Great baseball or running the bases instincts. I had mentioned that to Mike Matheny that you 
pointed that out. Score if there's a diving catch. Witt fouls it off of Grandal. But because of Benintendi's angle, he could. That will. Eighth pitch coming. And another foul ball. Oh! Drink splashed all over that first row. Another foul ball. That time, Grandal had no idea, and that's John. Way to a little parting gift. Three and two. From 0 and 2 to 3 and 2. Great plate appearance. Up and away, ball one. He is struck. And he got the call. Ben Intendi didn't like it. And that's outside. Two balls and one strike. First time all game, the Royals have had more than one base runner. Ben Intendi lifts it to left field. Vaughn appears to track it in the twilight. So two down, and Salvador Perez peeks into the White Sox dugout. That fooled Grandal, but it was. One ball, one strike. Salvi had the big hit for the Royals. They hit it out of the ballpark. Just keep the line moving. Mike Matheny fight him with two strikes. He thought about it, but it's outside. Pitch number 25 in this inning. And it's a foul tip and a strikeout. So the Royals strand two. <laughs>